Let's be real. Animation can be hard, especially if you are not an experienced artist. But what if I told you there is an easy way? You don't need perfect drawing skills to tell amazing stories. I'll walk you through how to use Blender's Grease Pencil, Motion Capture and a simple 3D model to streamline your animation process. We'll turn complex animation into something anyone can do. Let's start with the model. I created this base mesh for animation practice and storyboarding, and you can get it using the link below. Working with Mixamo is a breeze. Just take your FBX or OBG file, head over to Mixamo.com and upload it. Place the markers following the guide, and Mixamo will automatically rig your model by adding bones. Once the model is rigged, we can add any animation from Mixamo's library. Search for a walk cycle. Pick one that fits the vibe of your project and preview it on a model. Happy with it? Download it as an FBX file. Easy, right? You can also use other mockup libraries like Rococo to animate your character, or even create your own 3D animation using a rigged base model. Quick note, those animations may be copyrighted, so check the license before using them commercially. Now that we've got our animation imported, let's tweak it in Blender's Graph Editor. The Graph Editor allows us to adjust the timing, position and intensity of each movement, giving us some control over the animation. Here are a few tricks to customize the motion to fit your project perfectly. Let's say you want a character to have a slightly bent over posture throughout the animation. To do this, select the bone you want to affect and find the channel that controls the rotation of that bone. Once selected, take a look at the curve in the graph editor. It's this curve that defines the spine position over time. To add a forward lean, simply grab the curve and move it vertically, up or down, depending on the direction you want. This adds a rotation offset to whole animation. If the animation feels a bit too fast or too slow, we can adjust that by selecting all keyframes and scaling them horizontally. For example, I use this trick to fit the entire animation into 30 frames, so I could animate on threes. Finally, if you want to increase the intensity of a particular movement, like making the arm swing more exaggerated, you can scale the curve vertically. With just a few adjustments, your animation can go from generic to custom tailored in seconds. Okay, now we are set up to start our 2D animation. This is where it gets fun. Add a grease pencil object and create a new layer to trace over the animated model. Just follow the movement of the base mesh to create your 2D lines. No need to worry about anatomy or proportions because the base mesh is doing that for you. Focus on capturing the essence of the motion and the basic structure of the model. I've selected main key poses based on typical walk cycle guide and keyframed them. My goal here is to capture the main structure first and not to focus on details just yet. This technique makes you more efficient and precise, and as a bonus you get better at drawing. It's a win-win situation. Now that we have created our 2D animation base, it's time to add the character design. Let's say we want this animation to look like Batman walking. Just add those details to the base. You already have the structure figured out. The beauty of the grease pencil is that you can copy lines and use a sculpt mode to tweak the animation. This flexibility saves time by letting you reuse drawings. Work smarter, not harder. Because we already have the base animation in place, applying the character designs becomes much faster. You are basically dressing the character with Batman's features, adjusting as needed to keep everything consistent with the movement. Alright, so we definitely taken a shortcut here. But let's be real, nothing will ever be the skill and creativity that comes with learning traditional 2D art. Knowing how to draw can take your animation to a whole new level. So if you are serious about storytelling, I recommend practicing those drawing skills alongside this technique. Do you think this approach is actually cheating? Drop a comment below and let me know. 
Now that the rough pass is done, it's time to do it again, but better. Lower the opacity of your rough animation layer, create a new one and clean up your line work by closing gaps and refining the lines as you go. Having clean line art will make your life much easier when coloring. Speaking of which, check out my video on coloring your grease pencil animation. In that video, I explain how to achieve pro-level colors using Blender's amazing tools. Click here and also please subscribe. See ya!